In 2014, the UK government announced £200 million in funding for one of the most advanced polar research vessels in the world. The new ship, owned by the Natural Environment Research Council, part of UK Research and Innovation, replaces the existing polar fleet of the RRS James Clark Ross and RRS Ernest Shackleton. Rolls-Royce worked closely with the scientific community to create its unique design. She's designed to break ice, she's also designed to have a large oceanic range of around 19,000 miles and also at 11 knot speed she has to be virtually silent for the research that she actually does. The vessel is a 128 metre length, 24 metres beam, full load displacement of around 15,000 tonnes, so it's a fairly sizeable ship. Construction began at Camel Laird in Birkenhead in 2016 with hundreds of people working on the project. So it was prefabricated blocks and then they come together when we were in the construction hall. The top half was separate to the bottom half and then once we launched down the slipway we then stuck the top half on basically. The ice strengthened 10,000 tonne hull was launched by her namesake Sir David Attenborough in July 2018. Our future and everybody's future will be affected by what people working on this ship, British scientists and others, will be discovering in years to come. The Royal Research Ship Sir David Attenborough will be operated by the British Antarctic Survey and carry up to 60 scientists from pole to pole. The uppermost housing is the conning tower, which gives us much better horizontal visibility when we're in the ice. The next one down is the observation deck. It's a great idea because it means that the people that we're carrying to Antarctica, they've got their own deck that has as good a view as we have on the bridge. Specialist facilities on board include a giant piston corer, moon pool, helideck, autonomous instruments and robotic technologies. So what we've got is a vessel that can take lots of people, can deploy instruments from various different points in different ways, can go into the ice, can take the moon pool that enables us to put equipment into the water even when we've got ice all surrounding the vessel. This ship represents an opportunity to go to places that we've never been able to go to before, places that are too extreme for our current capabilities. The very deepest parts of the ocean, the iciest parts of Antarctica, the most remote places that most ships couldn't get to and work in with the amount of fuel they carry. This really is a new way of working.